New at five concerned residents in the South Bay say that they are seeing these notices on their front doors. They look official and refer to the need for an inspection. But our tennis reporter Michael Chen reveals the disturbing encounter that has one man suspecting a hidden motive. On the first Saturday in May came the first encounter. Off J Street, Tony heard a knock and saw a casually dressed man at his door from a company called Pacific Home Remodeling. He was looking to uh, inspect people's houses uh, for estimates of remodeling costs. Tony, who asked us not to show his face, is a renter and told the man he was not interested. I had to continuously repeat that I was not interested in services. He eventually left. Uh, he came back a second time a few days later, same situation. Once again, the man was asked to leave. A week later, Tony and his cousin found this stuck on their front door. It read, notice, including a name and cell number. Also, we were here for inspection and we missed you. Please call to arrange a new inspection. The company at the bottom, Pacific Home Remodeling. A confused Tony. Maybe they meant to put this notice on another house. Set it aside. Then on Tuesday, the man turned up again. Tony's cousin, the only one home. His cousin was just inside the door when he saw the stranger outside, his hand on the knob, ready to open the unlocked door. He uses my cousin's name and he uses my name and says that we authorized him to come inspect the house and look around. Despite that notice, neither of them had given approval for an inspection. Tony later posted the incident on next door. Neighbors reporting finding the same notices on their doors. One claiming a salesperson tried to talk his way into a home past an elderly woman. A spokesperson with the company says they're looking into Tony's claims, but defended the use of these notices as marketing flyers. Tony doesn't buy it. It's deceptive. Placing notices on people's house and hoping that they don't communicate with one another and than getting access to their house. Michael Chen, 10 News. And according to the Contractor State License Board, the LA-based remodeling company did have several citations dating back to 2015. The latest accusations include poor work and failure to obtain permits. A hearing later this month could determine what happens to that company's license.